Good morning, modern steaders. Pluto's all excited, but she's not going with us. We gotta go for a ride to an undisclosed location on a fun ride. And Olivia's gonna vlog the road trip. Cause we gotta go get something special. You ready? Yep. First, we gotta get our boots on. Olivia's has got hers on already. Cause where we're going is gonna be muddy. Got a food grade 55 gallon drum. Now we have a barrel to collect our sap and we gotta get it home, clean it out, and we're gonna put a spigot in it so we can fill it up and then we'll be able to drain it. We're gonna be using our kaboter and a ratchet strap. It's gonna be good. Now we just gotta hope we can get back out of here without getting stuck in any of those big mud holes. The truck's a little muddy. Yep. Hope we don't get stuck. Yeah. Is a mess. Mud. Yes, mud. Everything's a muddy mess. Are you staying out and helping, or are you going in the house? Mm. You're going inside. Pluto wants to help. Right, Pluto? It's not too cold out for you. It is pretty chilly today, I don't blame her. So, what I'm thinking is our rainwater barrel for the chicks has two spigots in it, one up high for an overflow, but it used to be a rain barrel, so we don't need that. We're gonna steal this spigot for our sap collection bucket.
Let's go find a drill bit. We'll get a hole drilled in the plastic. Come on, let's go. Get in. Let's see what size fit we can find to work with our spigot. I think 7 8 is going to work good. It's not too big, but it's not quite too small either. I think that'll be perfect. Now I need a torch. And I don't know what I did with my other one. I misplaced it somewhere. But we got this one right here. Grab a drill. <laughs> All right, I got my welding gloves, my spigot, drill, and our blowtorch. I'm gonna do this pretty much the same way I did for our automatic pig waterer. If you haven't seen the video for that, I'll put a link to that video here if you wanna build one. But I'm gonna stick it lower. So I'm gonna go right around the five gallon mark. Trying to keep it that plastic cab out of the bucket. I don't want it to fall in if I can help it. Awesome, we're able to save it. Woohoo! Nice. I'm gonna heat my spigot up and put my welding gloves on first. Then I'm gonna heat my spigot up so I can thread it into the plastic. And this way we can take it in and out as needed. It works out pretty slick. Once it's cooled off, I like to unthread it. And now, just to be on the safe side, I put a little bit of silicone on the threads. You know, it's kind of funny getting the garden hose out for the day. A little early for it, but we're gonna need it to clean out the barrel. The hot water is gonna come in real handy again for this. I'm so glad we put on this hot cold water spigot. Get it flooding with some hot water. While the barrel finishes filling up with water and rinsing out, let's go over the Kubota and see what we gotta do. We might I know we have to take the plow off, but I don't know if we got to take the bracket that I have inside the bucket off to get the 55 gallon drum to fit inside the bucket. What I'm hoping is to be able to ratchet strap the 55 gallon drum in the bucket and then we can raise and lower it, open our spigot up, and we can just dump it right into our boiling pot. That's what I'm, how I'm hoping it'll work out. Let's go see.
So, we might clear that bracket. Let me get the plow out of our way. I'm keeping the plow close by because winter's not over with yet. We're gonna end up losing all of our snow, I hope, and ice, and then we're gonna end up getting one more big dumping of snow. So if we keep this by the tree, it won't be that far of a walk for us to come and get it again. We have plenty of room to clear that. Awesome. Oh, I think that should be flooded out pretty good. Should be able to shut that off now and let it drain out from the spigot. That should be rinsed out pretty good. Oh, look at that, the hot water going through the hose melted the hose imprint right into the ice. Pretty wild. That's all the time we got for this project today. Tomorrow, fingers crossed, me and Olivia will be able to go out, collect some sap, put it into our 55 gallon drum. This actually might be filled up by the end of the day tomorrow. That'd be great. And then on Saturday, your Monday, We'll be boiling some sap and making our first maple syrup. We're excited for that and looking forward to it. Hopefully it's a little bit warmer out and not so breezy. This is carrot, celery, and butter. Anything else? Carrot, celery, butter, and get the minced garlic. Okay. While you're in there. Last weekend we made a delicious chicken noodle soup with homemade egg noodles. And today we want to repli replicate it. So what was it, Sunday night I cooked up our chicken mm -hmm. and made bone broth and kept the chicken wherever I put it, right here, just so we can make another soup. So today, Olivia wanted to make some soup, huh? Yeah. She was disappointed we already got the egg noodles made. She wanted to make more egg noodles. We got some in the freezer from the last batch that we made. What's your favorite part about making the egg noodles? I'm cutting them. Cutting them? Mm -hmm. All right, you want to turn the instant pot on, saute, and we'll get some butter melted, and then we'll brown up some garlic and the onions while we get everything else peeled. I'll put that in the instant pot. Alright, now we're going to add in half of our onion. Our one big tablespoon minced garlic. If you want to get a wooden spatula and you hear that sizzling every once in a while, just stir it. Celery stalks in next and let them saute up just a little bit. Now we'll get the next thing. What's that? Do I just stir it up every single time? No, you can let it sit for a little bit and then just keep stirring it on and off. You just don't want it to burn. Stir 
Now we're gonna add in just a little bit of broth. I'm not gonna add it all in right yet. I'll just let everything sit on saute and all the flavors will marinate up a little nicer. I'm gonna pick up and put They're yellow. We're gonna add more broth, and now we can cook it up. And when it's done cooking, we'll add the egg noodles. Can you put it on manual? We will. Here, put the cover on and put it on manual. Mm -hmm. Do I hit it so I hit it off? Yeah, we'll hit it off. So hit, yep, hit it twice. Okay, oh, one more time, sorry. And then manual, and we'll go to 20. Okay, that's it. You ready to put the noodles in? Yeah. Do you know where they are? Come on, get him. Mm -hmm. Yep. Jump all over them? Yes. Ooh, looks delicious. Some scissors. Does it make you hungry? Yes. What do you think of the soup? You did a good job making it. Did you cut the name of love? Yep. 